I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We have a road to execute payment and low taxes agreement. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, this is uh, part of the uh, solar project. One of the items uh, that will be a source of revenue for the town is a payment in lieu of taxes agreement. Um, basically, with the new um, the new uh, agreement with Onyx, um, a new uh, pilot program, a new pilot agreement is being drafted and presented to the board uh, for its review. Uh, there's two issues that are outstanding. Number one is that it's uh, uh, even though the solar project is nearing the construction completion, there is still some time in which a, a uh, um, an easement agreement has to be uh, drafted and approved by the town, and this would allow the uh, the project to connect with National Grid. And this is all going to take place at Habama, on Habamock Street. Uh, there are three poles that have been construction, constructed by the company, and on, that, on those poles will be the equipment that will generate the electricity from the solar project to the street where National Grid owns the poles. So we're anticipating that uh, easement to be uh, submitted uh, to us by the end of the week, and that will be reviewed by town council and uh, hopefully uh, in front of the board uh, for their approval on uh, June the 12th. Um, that being said, uh, it appears that the once that's agreed upon, uh, then there will have to be an agreement with National Grid and Onyx Corporation to start generating electricity. It appears that that's not going to happen until the end of the summer or early fall at the latest. So therefore, Onyx isn't prepared to pay taxes on something that's not generating electricity. So as you see in the email that we should have received from uh, Chief Assessor Kathy Salmon, she uh, agrees that Onyx will pay the $105,000 that will be owed the town in the first year of operation, but that they'll pay the $105,000, not in quarterly payments, for the fall, um, for the uh, er late, late summer, early fall payments, and then uh, winter and early spring payments, that um, Onyx would make that $105,000 into uh, two payments in uh, uh, calendar 2018, for fiscal year 2018. So that being, uh, that would be one of the items that would be uh, of interest to the board, and the other is that there is a uh, an issue regarding the uh, assignment, uh, which is paragraph six in the pilot agreement. And uh, town council has stated that the person who gets the assignment of the pilot pilot must also get the assignment of the uh, land lease. So, in other words. Um, the assignment language is going to be the same in both the pilot and in the lease. So basically the two outstanding items have been uh, settled by the chief assessor and by town council. So uh, that uh, what we'll do then is we'll present that this pilot agreement to Onyx and hopefully that they'll be uh, signing off on the uh, on the adjust on the amendments that we've made to the uh, the original uh, pilot agreement from three years ago. Okay. Anybody 
question? Uh, Ed, if, uh, if we're looking to, if our target date to sign this pilot agreement would be on the, uh, the 12th, is that what you said? Well, that's what um, the chief assessor would like to have uh, the pilot agreement signed by the 12th so they could start taxing the system right. on July 1. However, it appears that the system's not going to be up and running until late summer, early fall anyway. So, you know, they're going to be in a situation where they're not interested in making, you know, any uh, tax payments on something that's not generating any electricity. And uh, so, therefore, if we propose to them that we'll, we'll start taxing you in January of 2018, and that's acceptable to them, that's one thing. Uh, there may be a situation where we won't even tax them until FY19. I mean, we'll still get 20 years worth of payment in lieu of taxes. It's just, it'll be a, a year later than, uh, than we thought. Can I ask, is, so, uh, so for the public's information and the, and the board should know this, uh, this pilot agreement, uh, taxes, <clears throat> is, a, is a payment agreement based on uh, the megawatts that the plant uh, is tagged for. Correct. 3.2 megawatts uh, DC so if we don't if, if it doesn't become operational until say January uh, are we taxing them on a prorated value a prorated use of the facility or is it on once they once they flip the switch it's an annual basis regardless of uh, how long they have been generating per annum Kathy Salmon's uh, conversation with the Department of Revenue is that you can't do that. So it's it's going to be a whole year's worth of, of taxes. So if even if they're not operational on July the one, on July one, uh, but they're operational October whatever, um, and they agree that they'll pay that whole year's worth of taxes. Um, starting January 1st, 2018, through the rest of fiscal 18, that's fine. We also may be uh, getting in, uh, be looking at, if they're not operational on July 1, which it appears they won't be, then, then uh, Ms. Salmon would then assess them for personal property starting July 1, 2018, which would be for fiscal 2019. So we're going to propose them paying, making the two payments for 2018, and that is acceptable to the Department of Revenue. So we're going to, you know, we're going to propose propose that as part of our new pilot. And I'll be, you know, obviously I'll report back to the board as to whether Onyx accepts that or not. So uh, just just so I'm clear in, 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 the, in the public too, so everyone's following this, uh, uh, the Department of Revenue will only allow us to tax one full year in a fiscal year, no, not a partial. All right, let, let's, they will not allow, if, if the project is worth $105,000 worth of taxes, they will not allow the town to collect a third and a fourth payment, which would be would amount to half of that. They, they, they will accept the 105000 for the year for fiscal 18 if we collect it in the third tax cycle and the fourth tax cycle because we, we bill individuals and companies four times a year. We have quarterly tax billing. So they're saying that if Onyx is willing to pay for the entire 105000 either on the third and the fourth um, tax billings, or the fourth tax bill. You know, I mean, uh, I think our attorney proposes that Onyx just pay us at the end of next fiscal year. Well, I agree with that, Ed. And, and, and I don't think this, this board or the town accountant can speak for it further, but it, it, it's really inconsequential to the town, especially in the first year. As long as they pay in full, uh, 
at any point during the fiscal 2018 right. period. So it's 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 inconsequential whether we get the money in September or you know, next May, for instance. But my my question to you is this: If they don't go online into January, um, if they don't go online to January, uh, do they pay? Do they do they pay for next year in half of 2018? Or do we forego any payment in the fiscal 2018 to the following year? That may happen. That may happen. So, so knowing that, so they have six. They have six months that they've gone without being taxed or being part of this pilot program, which, at the end of the day, is inconsequential because we have tw we are guaranteed 20 full years of payment. So that six months, that six months without having a pilot, uh, does the assessor. Uh, uh, tax them on the personal property taxes and, and their, their equipment taxes. For 2018? For, tw for that six months of 2018. Would it, would it no, and, and kind of count Mike is here, and he'd be, I'm sure, can answer that question, but I think you either, you either tax them for the entire year or you don't tax them at all. Yeah, when you, when you have an August bill and a November bill, an estimated bill, estimated amounts, so the February and uh, May bills, which are generated in December, have the actual amounts. And if you don't have that thing nailed down by December, you can't add it on the But we do get it 20 years up. So right. right. And, and I just want to make sure that mm -hmm. we, we all, we, we, we right. know the, the process ahead. Uh, and as I said, uh, we're guaranteed 20 years of payments. Uh, first ten, the first uh, 10 years are uh, estimated to be $105,000 a year. The, the 10 to 20 is 35000 plus a year. So this entire project is estimated to be uh, a value of $1.4 million to the town of Pembroke. Uh, so for a few months, getting them online, it's... Uh, it's inconsequential in the end, but I just want to make sure everyone understands the, the process. Yeah, the hang-up's going to be them connecting with National Grid, and, and that's going to take several months, and, and that would put taxing them on July 1 pretty much in, in jeopardy. That, it's not going to happen. You know, even though we could be signing the easement, allowing them to connect the poles that they own to the poles that we own, uh, but they need that easement to go across town property to get to the poles that we own. And so uh, it just, it, it, it's not gonna happen before next Monday, which is the deadline that Kathy Salmon needs in order to issue a tax bill, so. So the real consequence in this for the town is that we'll probably receive no money in 2018. That's a 50-50 chance. Yeah. So, but as Dan pointed out, this is a 20-year deal, which in the 20 years will start when we sign the agreement. So that is not in jeopardy. It's just when we get the first amount of money, 105000 may be put <coughs> off for a longer period of time than we were hoping it would be. Correct. Because we could use the 105,000. Right. Okay. However, I want to point out to the board that we've already received the first of the lease land payments. Yes. So, you know, we've received our first check for 76,500, which is the annual lease on the property. So, we've already got that first payment. Yeah, anything else? <coughs> 